This course will be breaking down high level concepts and then swiftly move to hands on experience using the TensorFlow.js library and models in the browser. You'll learn what the difference is between concepts like artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning, but also how to use such techniques practically through real examples using TensorFlow.js. With this knowledge, you'll be able to supercharge your next web app to do things like classifying comment text in a blog post to automatically block spam, or using sensors such as your webcam on your mobile device to alert you when your dog is on the couch after you left the house. The knowledge you learn could be applied to any business or creative idea that you have for your next project, no matter what industry you might be working in with a little bit of creative thinking. Better yet, JavaScript is one of the few programming languages that can run everywhere, enabling you to leverage the knowledge from this course and apply it client-side, server-side, native apps, or even IoT devices, allowing you to reuse what you learn across multiple environments. So let's go ahead and break down each feature chapter of this course. In chapter two, you'll get familiar with common terms and what they mean, along with the background of TensorFlow.js and how it works, and why performing machine learning in JavaScript can actually be advantageous. You'll also learn the different ways you can leverage machine learning from using off-the-shelf pre-made models, retraining existing models via a concept known as transfer learning, or writing your own from a blank canvas, and when each might be appropriate. Chapter two is purposely high level, introducing the key terminology and phrases that you need to grasp to set you up for going deeper further in the course as we unwrap many of these concepts. Chapter three will focus on using pre-made machine learning models. These are models that someone else has already trained and made available. The TensorFlow.js team have created a whole bunch of models like this that are super easy to use in just a few lines of JavaScript and are a great way to get familiar with what machine learning models are along with the types of things that they can do. You'll also learn the concept of tensors that are core to sending data in and getting results out of a machine learning model. You'll then learn how to load an arbitrary TensorFlow.js model which requires you to work at this tensor level to utilize. Unlike the easier JavaScript classes you started with at the beginning of this chapter. By the end of chapter three, you'll be confident at loading any model and using it. Chapter four will build on the third with your new knowledge of tensors, and you'll learn to create your own simple models from a blank canvas. We'll cover concepts like linear regression, perceptrons, and multi layered perceptrons to predict more advanced things. Finally, you'll also learn about more modern techniques such as convolutional neural networks and how they can be used to classify imagery. Now, don't worry if these terms are unknown right now, all will be revealed as you go through the course. Chapter five will teach you all about transfer learning. This is the art of taking an existing model and using that as a starting point to learn something new, which can often save time and money. Here, you'll learn how to make your own version of Google's popular Teachable Machine website to fully appreciate how it works behind the scenes while learning to recognize custom things. In chapter six, you'll learn how to reuse machine learning models that may have started out in Python. While this course is aimed at JavaScript developers, much academic research is initially launched in Python. So it's important to know how to take such work and get it to run in the browser, which we all know and love, using our easy to use command line conversion tool. You'll also learn how to take a Python model for spam classification, retrain it, and then use the newly created version of the model in your web app. Finally, chapter seven will take a look at the future and beyond, taking a high level view once again of what other model architectures exist to give you some inspiration of how you might want to take the knowledge you've learned and put it into action. Further resources you may wish to investigate will also be provided along with how to get involved in the fast growing TensorFlow.js community. And with that, you should be well on your way to being productive with machine learning in JavaScript. So let's get started and head on to the next section.